in 2020, millennials will make up almost half of the workforce. So no matter what, we're really rising up in the ranks and it's really important whether you are a millennial that is going to be managing other millennials or you are a manager currently who is managing a new rising generation, it's important that we understand how do we manage millennials? And really, you don't manage them per se. And I'll explain why. So what you wanna do is really empathize with where millennials are. And I just wanna give you some perspective. I'm a millennial, was born 1989, and now I'm managing other millennials. So I can give you a little bit of perspective about where we're at. There was a recent survey that was done by UNC and they talk about really the difference between millennials and their managers. And here was a really interesting piece of information from it. So managers and that manager generation that's outside of the millennials really value going into work and getting a high paid job. This new generation of millennials really value a meaningful job. So when we're talking about paid work versus meaningful work, and the fact that we have two different priorities, you have to understand that this is going to drastically affect the way that you want to manage a millennial. So I find that many of the millennials that I manage are willing to join a startup even if they know that we can't pay them market wages because they know that they're gonna take on meaningful and rich work. So how do you do that? What you can do then is you don't manage them, but you provide ownership to them. Now, you, you find the right people, of course, to find ownership, uh, to, that want to take on their own meaningful ownership. But from there, what you have to do is you have to be able to let them do it. You have to be able to give a degree of freedom and autonomy. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't check in, but it does mean that you have to let them decide how to collaborate and how to move that work forward. I find that a lot of the millennials that I manage and I work with, the key word that they really focus on is collaboration. And that just means that they get to work in teams. Certainly, we're very social. And that's not just in terms of extroversion, social media too. We are one of the most active and publicly mediated out generation of any time. And so that means that you wanna allow them to have collaboration and to work within the teams that they decide to. The other interesting piece from that survey is that you have millennials wanting immediate feedback. 80% of millennials say that they want feedback immediately, right after something goes wrong. This is really key because in a way, yes, we are an instant gratification kind of generation. We do want to hear things now. So make sure you provide us with that feedback and then we know how to course correct going forward. So if you really understand and empathize with millennials and our desire and our strive for ownership and collaboration, you can have a really successful team of millennials.